Hey there guys, how's it going? So according to reports, undefeated Russian middleweight contender Sergei Derevenchenko is going to be facing Turiano Johnson. Now um, this is going to be a great fight, you know, we've got two two real aggressive come forward fighters here and it's going to be a really good one. Now let's talk about Derevenchenko for a second because I don't think I've ever really made any videos about Derevenchenko. I've mentioned him here and there but I haven't really broken down any of his fights. But I've been watching the guy for a while. Um, in his last fight, he had a very impressive fifth round stoppage over an undefeated Jamaican contender called Kamal Russell. Uh, it was a very, very good performance. I mean, it was a really educated, um, you know, on the front foot, but very, very um, calculated aggression type performance. You know, he came forward, he had the hands up. Um, he was facing a guy that was taller and that had longer arms, but Kamal Russell really just couldn't do anything to keep Derevanchenko off him. I mean, he was just too compact. You know, he was, you know, solid boxing fundamentals, really, really good punch technique, really good footwork, good balance, uh, excellent body attack. And he just broke the guy down and stopped, and stopped him. So uh, I was very impressed by that. Uh, and before then, Derevanchenko had a, a very impressive second round stoppage over Australian veteran Sam Solomon. Now, Sam Solomon is a fighter that I've known about for a long, long time. And one thing that really surprised me is that going into that fight, Sam Solomon is a guy who he's very well known for being tough, for being durable, for being um, difficult to get rid of. You know, he's a guy who... You know, he knows how to old man his way through fights. He has all these veteran tactics. He's very, very cute in there. You know, he's good at getting low and avoiding shots and, you know, really making it rough on the inside. Um, the, I think the only guy that was able to um, that was able to knock him out prior to that was Anthony Mundine, I think. And those two had like a big, big rivalry. You know, they, they fought like three times or something. So um, obviously Anthony Mundine knew... He knew Sam Solomon very well. I mean, he'd, but he'd shared the ring with him several times. So, obviously, he was able to get the knockout. But most people that fight Sam Solomon, you know, they have to really go through a, a difficult workout against him. He's kind of like Saki Obika in the sense that you can defeat him, but he's very difficult to look good against. I mean, he defeated Felix Sturm twice for the world title at middleweight. Um, he... Went 12 rounds with with uh, Jermaine Taylor, not and and these fights were re in recent years too. You know, this wasn't a, a much younger version of Sam Solomon that that Derevanchenko fought. So, I was very impressed by the fact that Derevanchenko was able to get this veteran out of there in two rounds. To me, that was very very impressive because, like I said, you know, you you don't. You, you know, you usually you don't stop a fighter like Sam Solomon, particularly not that early. I mean, it was very, very impressive to me. And um, yeah, and I mean, you could say that, well, perhaps Sam Solomon just got old overnight. I don't think so. I mean, he was in very good shape. Um, you know, he'd been he, he was taking the fight very seriously. I mean, like I said, he, just a, a year or so prior to that, he was a world champion. He even um, suffered a, a controversial defeat against... Dominic Wade, who at the time was was undefeated and a mandatory challenger for for Triple G, so and he was deemed good enough to face Triple G. So clearly, Sam Solomon to me, he was um, a legit middleweight at the time that that Sergey Derevchenko fought him, or at least a, a legit test for that stage of of Derevchenko's career. So yeah, very impressed by the performance, and um, I thought that Derevchenko really showed his class in that fight. He showed that he's a heck of a lot more seasoned than than it would first seem looking at his record because obviously um even though he's only had 11 pro fights he has boxed in the the world series of boxing and he had a very extensive amateur background so clearly he's a much more seasoned fighter than you would think now um he's going in against Toriano Johnson Toriano Johnson is your typical straightforward uh, aggressive tough guy who comes forward very, very relentless in the ring, doesn't stop coming forward, likes to throw uppercuts and likes to really wind up on those hooks. Um, you know, he kind of, he's one of these guys who clearly has tried to emulate some of the great Mexican fighters like Chavez, for example, just with the way that he delivers his shots, you know, the body attack inside, he really winds up on that left hook and he, he like, like I said, he likes to throw a lot of uppercuts in close and he's just a, a really tough, hot-headed fighter, very confident um, you know, doesn't take a backward step. He's a, a very aggressive type. I watched this fight against Curtis Stevens, for example, and that was a great fight. Uh, I think that fight was in 20, 2014, 2015, something like that. And um, yeah, Curtis Stevens was, was losing the fight. He was being outworked. He was being outfought and outmuscled. 
However, in the last round, Curtis Stevens basically rallied and managed to get the stoppage. He didn't. He didn't knock Toriano Johnson out. It was a a technical stoppage. Toriano Johnson just took a, a big barrage of shots, and I think I think the referee stopped the fight or something like that. It was it was either the referee or the corner. I can't remember, but but either way, he he ended up getting stopped. But you know, it was it was his fight to lose. He was ahead on all the cards. Um, he was on his way to a victory. He was by far the better fighter. It's just he got careless. And, you know, that can happen in any fight when you're fighting a puncher. I mean, if you're going to be fighting someone like Curtis Stevens, who is known to have heavy hands and is known to be a puncher, you don't want to allow yourself to get complacent. Even if you're winning the fight, you still want to be careful. And you still want to make sure that you're defensively responsible, even in the last round. Because, like I said, if you're fighting a puncher... You know, you, you don't want to let them win the only way they can win, which is by landing a big shot, and, and that was what happened there. But either way, that was the only defeat on Toriano Johnson's record. I believe his record is 20-1 and one with, like, 14, 15 knockouts, something like that. I, I haven't looked at his record in a while, so I, I'm just trying to remember off by heart here. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's something like 20 wins and one defeat, and he has quite a lot of knockouts too. So the guy's a, a, obviously he's a dangerous puncher. Uh, he's very heavy-handed for a middleweight, um, very tough, come forward, um, relentless. So this has all the makings of a great fight, guys. It really does, and I'm really looking forward to this one. Um, obviously, judging judging on things like boxing skills and, and defense and technique, obviously Toriano Johnson can't really match Sergei Derevinchenko in any of those areas. I mean, like I said, Sergei Derevinchenko is a... A very seasoned amateur, um, boxed in the World Series of Boxing, has uh, solid balance, solid fundamentals, a nice tight guard, um, seems to have pretty good timing in the ring, whereas um, Turiano Johnson, from what I've seen of him, he's a little bit more clumsy, but Turiano Johnson, even though he's clumsy and even though he doesn't have great defence, he makes up for it with his, uh, with his courage and his heart and his determination and his stamina and his power. You know, he's, he's your typical come-forward brawler type. And I, and I think that that's going to make this an interesting fight because other than um, Sam Solomon, who was a was a brawler type, but obviously a lot more crafty because of the experience he's picked up over the years. Other than him, we haven't really seen Derevinchenko tested in that area. We haven't really seen anybody really bring the heat towards him and see what he's got. So I think this fight will see what, what Dere, or it'll show us what Derevinchenko is made of. Um, I think we're going to see a, a lot of fireworks here, I really do, and I'm expecting a stoppage, most likely a late stoppage, I think that Derevinchenko will eventually work this guy out, and I think he'll, you know, he'll start to land counters, and I think he'll break him down, and I think he'll stop him, but it's not going to be easy, and I wouldn't be surprised if, um, if Toriano Johnson was able to pull an upset, because, you know, when you've got a guy that's that heavy-handed, and that, you know, that confident, and who's going to really bring the fight, you can never write a guy like that off completely, but I think that I'm going to go with the guy who's more seasoned as an amateur and who seems to have the better technique. I'm going to go with Derevinchenko, and I think I think he's going to win it by stoppage because, like I said, um, you know, Toriano John Johnson does have the tendency to be a little bit clumsy and a little bit complacent like he was with Curtis Stevens, and that cost him the fight. And I think that... I just think that Derevinchenko is a much higher level of talent than than someone like Curtis Stevens, so I'm going to go with Derevinchenko by a late stoppage, uh, but I'm definitely looking forward to the fight. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, thanks for watching.